Day six. We're here. I've written some stuff. I've arranged some stuff. Even changed instruments around. But the arrangement, it's not over yet. So a lot more we need to arrange. Or I need to arrange. Um, this is kind of the groove. There's this whole big chunky section over here. Kind of breaks down, builds up, but <coughs> too long. I think we need to make something a little bit shorter, really. Just seems a bit too long for the material we've got. Probably going to put some vocals over this. I had a word with my friend who's a vocalist yesterday. He wants to sing on this, so I think you could add a really cool melodic line to this. So hopefully, could leave it instrumental. Could could do two versions. Could do an instrumental version. Could do a version with vocals. We'll see. Thank you if you've been following me for all of these six days. Hello and welcome if you just joined me on this sixth day. This is kind of the track I've made so far. Just by playing on the MIDI keyboard and messing around with some knobs and like filters and stuff on APC 40 Mark II. Then just going through and arranging it and trying to make it flow a bit better and trying to make the sounds fit in the mix because originally there was a lot of kind of mud in the sound. There's a lot of instruments that I just kind of put for the sake of it. There still is. I think this bit's all right, but there still isn't the end of it. There's still a lot kind of muddiness. There's still a lot of instruments that don't really need to be there. So I think I'll go through, continue arranging. Might not be the most exciting thing in the world, arranging, but it's something that needs to be done, you know? Not this bit. Could be the sound. I quite like the parts, because obviously there's a different chord progression here. Could add some more elements here. Maybe not the drums. It should come in there as well. I don't know why that little extra two bar thing's all about. Just drag that back. It goes back to the different chord progression. So it's kind of like um like yeah, like a middle eight, I guess, if you used to write pop music or whatever. So we've got the middle eight section. Then we kind of have the, the breakdown, I guess. Which is far too long. There shouldn't be more than like, I don't know. 16 bars. Goes on for a while. It's like, come on. Come on. I guess if there's vocals there, if there's something that's given it a bit more like, I don't know, entertainment, it'd be better. However, now I'm just like, come on, get in. But, yeah. That's what arranging's about though. A lot of it's just, yeah, arrange, 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 the name of my previous video. But this one, yeah, arrange, 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 arrange. Just keep on arranging. That's my experience. A lot of it's just putting a few ideas down, arranging, messing around, changing, tweaking some stuff about, I'm trying to make it sound more like a song rather than just a bunch of ideas thrown in together. So there's still a lot to be done, but I thought I'd start this little introduction by playing you the song, because a lot of the time we're just going through little bits. You can't actually hear the song, I've seen them talking at the same time. But, you know, how it is. Now we go back to the kind of the hook, as you, as you wish. A bit too much filter there. Yeah, <laughs> okay, a little bit too crazy. And, uh, then here's kind of the outro. So the structure of the song really is introduction, I guess like a verse here, the blue bit, chorus. We've got middle eight. We've got a breakdown slash verse, send chords and the chorus, then the outro. Just 
too long as well. The outro needs chopping down. The middle eight needs a bit of work. And this breakdown needs a load of work. So, yeah, today it's going to be... I'm going to probably leave that first half. Well, not half. First bit before the middle eight. And then it's kind of middle eight and the breakdown. I think the last chorus is cool. Maybe add some more percussion elements. And the outro needs some work as well. I don't know where that shaker came from. Yeah, that shaker's still going. Cool. So that's basically the song so far. Yeah, so... I wouldn't say it's taken a while. You might think it's taken a while. I'd just say it's kind of normal, normal procedure. Couple days writing, a few days arranging, a couple days mixing, and then maybe kind of make a, a vocal version or just leave it instrumental, depends. I think this suits some nice kind of, kind of Tom York-esque long held melodic notes really high up. So it's uh, out of the frequencies of um, the pads. I think that'd be really nice. Yeah. So my friend, my friend Pete's really good at that kind of stuff. He's got a really nice kind of organic sounding voice. I think he's, his voice could fit over this really well. But it's not essential. But it might be nice. Right, ready? Let's do this. So let's, I think, first of all, sort out this um, middle eight section. I like these chords as well. These chords are kind of interesting. Why am I going back to this two chord nonsense? I think we should continue this, this on for a while until we go back to this two chord stuff. So I'm just like, we've got this nice new chord progression. Why am I going back to this kind of verse two chord stuff? It's not needed. It's not needed. Let's just loop it like that. Same with this one. Those drums didn't sound right, if you ask me. So, um, come on, man. Oh, there we go. Drag it over. Um, so let's hear this bit. Obviously, um, we need some kind of energy to come in, but I think I might just go from this middle eight into this kind of chorus section because this kind of like two chord verse bit, is it even needed? Is it just there for the sake of it? This stuff's obviously the wrong notes, but it's the echo crazy sound, which isn't really audibly like in tune. It's just some load of noise basically. So yeah, maybe this bit get chopped out. I feel like it's just there yeah, for no reason. Maybe that could be the outro. It could always be a thing. Let's just play from here. It sounds a little bit too much like, let's take the king to the castle. A little bit too, um, I don't know, Baroque. That string sound, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I want, I want something a little bit more contemporary. So um, I'm going to get a serum. What, was, what effects are they put on here? It's got overdrive. Yeah. Oh, it's got chorus. Okay, okay. All right. That's cool. We'll leave the chorus on. And then uh, we'll get rid of this sample, and uh, I'm going to put serum on. Or not. Just playing that. All right, I'm going to delete. Now put serum on. There you go. 
Okay, so uh, I shouldn't really do this, but I'll solo it. I'll rename this as well. Um, serum eight, so like middle eight kind of thing. Might not even be eight bars. I might extend it a lot longer, but in my head right now, it's uh, it's a middle eight. So, you know. Uh, where's the loopers? Here we go. Oh. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? All right, okay. We could always go back to that original pad sound. It doesn't necessarily have to be a string sound. But the main pad is pretty nice. Let's just try it there. I like that kind of sine wave thing, that's nice. Sub sound on serum. So good. Try a bit of noise. I'm not really a fan of noise. Maybe stick an LFO on the noise. On the level. Experiment now. I'm gonna put LFO on the pitch. It might sound awful. Obviously not. Nah, that doesn't work. LFO on the pan as well. So we get panning from left to right. Yeah. Now we're cooking, now we're cooking. Um, uh, fill a bit. To me, the sun. Let's just change that whole instrument because to me that just sounds piercingly awful. So let's just change that. Um, I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back to Serum. I'm sorry, Wavetable. Just it's not Serum. Just not Serum. Yeah, Wavetable is it is good, but I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm just used to Serum, you know. I'm just, just creature of comfort or whatever. You know, obviously that sound is awful, so not that one. I'm just gonna be lazy and put the octaves down here. Oh, I just, I just love this sub sound so much. One 
メールな。あ、oh, I'm gonna fail to run. I don't think it needs to cut it off. Work? I don't know. I don't know if this will work. Sounds significantly better. It blends a lot nicer. I, I do like it. I do like it. You know. Let's go from the um the kind of chorus bit into this breakdown. This perfectly. It's a little bit sloppy, which can be fine. But for this section, I think I want it perfect. Yeah, and I'll probably do this. No, yeah, I'll probably do the same with this. I think this is perfectly quantized. I don't, I don't know what I'm on about. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. We'll do some kind of like. Oh, we use that little, that little sexy little. Thing here. So get this. No, get this. Drag it back. All right. Don't know. Quite like that kind of offbeat thing, but maybe we should get it on the beat. No. So it sounds like because it's not banging time. I think it needs to go slightly before for it to trigger when it comes in. I don't know. It's hard. Maybe slightly. Maybe slightly back. That's nice. Yeah. So we've got a kind of slight different rhythm for this、um, shaker as well. Most people are not going to notice it, but I will. All right. So. Um, I haven't even looked at the samples. If there's like a one, I could always make that. Just get a crash sound. Let's try echo crash. Now we've got to make one. Let's try a crash and then stick some echo on it. <laughs> Too cheesy. Maybe well, that might be alright if you stick on a, a filter. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> right, let's try that. Um, let's create a new audio track. I need to tidy this whole kind of session up as well, and then we're gonna stick on an echo. Um, hmm, I can't remember where it was. Oh, here we go. All right, let's look. <laughs> yeah, all right. And sync it. Have one as a sixteenth. Try that. No, no, it's a little eighth notes.、Um, <coughs> oh, put a bit of reverb. What's that? What does this sound like? Feedback down. Feedback up. Oh, that's why the dry wet. Like that, yeah. Um, I need to stick a filter on, cut some of those highs.、Uh, stick a low pass filter.、We'll、just do it with EQ actually. Just get EQ A and roll out some of those.、Um, let's roll it out before it even goes into the、uh, EQ. So I just want to roll out some of these highs. Like this. A bit less. Maybe have it as a band. Let's roll out some of those lows as well. Somebody did them. I 
add a bit more reverb and turn the whole thing down, I think, right here. <laughs> think that can work. Might need to, I might tune it a little bit, but no, let's, let's. Should we get, I might get a reverse symbol as well, so let's just, uh, let's be lazy, duplicate it, all right. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, reversed it. Um, will it work with this echo? Oh, it might work with that little, that little gap. We can have it bang on. Let's see what it sounds like. It's not bang on, but... I think I like it with that little gap. That's nice, yeah. I might have that one with a little, uh, yeah, a little brighter. That's nice, yeah. Okay, I think we get, I think, I think we're getting somewhere. Let's kind of fragment that, that main riff and let's just kind of stick it on that sub one, the low one, if y'all remember this. This one here, I might have to make, move it around because the chords are different, so it might not fit harmonically, but we'll give it a go. kind of thing obviously the notes need changing some of them just to fit with the new chord progression I don't know I don't know I think we're kind of milking that cow too much if that's a phrase And, uh, oh, look at that. Um, <coughs> maybe I could add some of the drums there. That's what I was meant to say. You know, like real drums. Not real drums, drums that haven't got the fade to gray on. I don't like that chord, that one chord sounds a bit... Yeah. Obviously going to move it to that. Obviously going to move it to that. Then perhaps I could add on um, this sound with the uh, the filter back up. Let's have a look. Yeah. So. If Weird faces there. So if we, uh, if we put the filter back up, we kind of extend these chords out a bit. Mm. 
Um, what are they? I've got them written down somewhere. I'll probably, let's work them out. So from, uh, from here. So we're just kind of extending a bit. So it's kind of the C minor thing. So we're, we're missing the fifth. So let's add the fifth. Let's make it, let's make it, uh, let's make it a nine. Let's stick on the D as well. Make it a bit more interesting. Okay, all right. And then we've got this uh, G, which is yeah, probably minor. Oh, what happens if we make this a major? This might sound bad, or it might sound really kind of what? Right, let's stick it as a major seven. Let's see what this sounds like. So this one is a uh, F minor. So let's stick on the third. And that's uh, I guess we can just keep that going. And then we got this uh, G minor thing. I don't want to go up to there. Go down. Yeah, and then we got this uh, C minor thing. Yeah, let's keep that G going. Um, just want to kind of change these notes around, just kind of like, you know, like bulk the sound out a little bit, but in a good way. Uh, then we got this, uh, what the? Oh, like a, that's the fruity chord. All right, so we've got this kind of D minor thing. All right. Interesting. So let's drop that down to an F. Okay, and then we've got this, uh, not octaves, not octaves. Yeah, that can work. Right, and then we've got this, uh, oh, this kind of D-flat thing, or C-sharp as Ableton calls it. Let's keep that F going. Drop that, and then we finish, I presume, in F minor. Oh, got F and a D. Hmm. What's that, like a, don't know what the last chord is. I'm thinking maybe we can just repeat these last two, build up a lot of suspension, suspense, suspension, build up a lot of suspense. Um, so these two are weird, man. Let's just get a loop of those last two chords. That's what I'm thinking. Um, All them different. Yeah, same here. Come on, man. Yeah. Right, so if we just copy these, yeah. This might sound really cool, or it might sound awful, but you never know. Yeah, this one is not doing that. So it needs to start at 101. Yeah, like that, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah oh, nearly. Is that in time? Oh. 
<sighs> All right, cool. There we go. So let's just color these differently so I know uh, what they are. Leave that for now, doesn't really matter. Leave that for now, doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see if this kind of weird last two chord thing works. It might not, it might do. So we've got this breakdown thing. Still needs something else. Now I'm just going to repeat these last two chords. Will it work? Maybe just once. More than that, it's a bit like, oh, come on. Yeah, it's too much, too much, too much, too much. Let's just exact copy that over, see what that sounds like. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it and make it sound like cheesy. So that is what will happen. Yeah, let's, let's hear what it sounds like going back to the chorus there. Could work, could not. Well, this isn't always the most enthralling thing to watch, but however, it's pretty essential. Arrangement is, I would say, the most essential thing about songwriting. Posing or whatever this is. You know what I mean? You need to get more. Yeah, it needs to make sense. Oh, that's not what I meant. I want to have uh, so get rid of all, all this nonsense from uh, from there, and then have um, let's get rid of that for now. Have those weird kind of drums. Yeah, so I'm gonna experiment with all that. This might not work. Give it a go. Who oh, knew? Those drums are just a loop, so that's cool. And then um. Bring all this stuff back, yeah. So I'm going to try moving this around to have the two chord thing as the outro. Echo Crazy can stay there, that's fine. Right, and then... Yeah, I think I did that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Just drag all this stuff um, back a little bit. So we've got kind of like break, middle eight breakdown, whatever, into chorus, I guess. It's not really like a traditional, you know, pop song, but. Still need structuring. Okay, so let's go from, we've got this little two bar thing that might not work, but you never know. You never know. the bass notes around. Um, let's just manually do it. So it was a, what was it? A D and a F, I think. Let's have a look. I think it's just a D and a F. 
D. Oh no, C sharp, sorry. C sharp and F. That was a sound bad. It was D. That's a D and F. C sharp and F. That one that worked as a <laughs> dinner. All right, C sharp and that one. Yeah, cool. Let's see what this sounds like from here. I think that works. There's a little little bit of sneakiness there, which I think sounds good. Personally, could be wrong. Just little crash things, so people know something else changing. I didn't want the drums to drop out there. Come on. There you go. Right, right. Then I want this bit to come in there. So it's coming on a 107. What are you doing? What are there we go? Oh, fuck. There we go. This might not be like the exact, you know, right place, but we'll find out. We'll find out soon. I'm gonna end it there. I don't I don't wanna end on the yeah, in the right place. Yeah, let's see what that sounds like. Drums fade out here. Bass needs to go way before. Where's the bass? Oh yeah. I don't like that resolve at the end. Where does that come from? I want it to end on that last chord. There. Get rid of that. Just chop it out, yeah. Cool. Okay, so I think I think it's a bit more of a structure now. Minus that, like, one minute. I think it's probably, like, four minutes or something. Seems more like a track to me. Okay, so... Uh, What 
Well, let's do a lot of times. Just give it a quick bounce and then just listen back and then make notes on paper, like what I think needs to change and stuff. So. Otherwise, I just end up looking at the screen rather than actually listening. So let's just do that. That's kind of my the way I like to do it. So let's export this. For now, just do it as an MP3. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm getting some uh, getting some ideas there. It's still, I still feel like it's lacking something to make it more exciting, which I think is vocals or maybe I don't know something else for this kind of song I think vocals will fit really well personally could be wrong no but find out have a quick listen back get my pen and paper make some notes about what's going on Yeah, I find a lot of time just looking at the screen, you're kind of, kind of visually analysing it rather than audibly analysing it. And when it's a song like this, I want to listen to it and feel kind of the music rather than just think, oh, look at the filter, I want to hear the filter. So I think a lot of time, for me anyway, it could be different for you, I want to actually listen to the music without the screen. So this song is not done, this is not the final bounce, this is not the master, it's none of that stuff. This is just me listening back without the visual cues, without the visual stuff going on, just listening to the music. So hopefully you might be able to learn from this, Hope you might even do the same. Who knows? But this is what I like to do. So pen and paper, not no computer screen, kind of old school, I know, but yeah. Come on. All right, so let's get that open in a quick time. Classic. I might fix those notes a little bit at the start. So they maybe quantize tighter. overdrive on that pack and make um, keep all part. Let's add a kind of a kind of riser.
Could be another chorus at the end. I feel like add another chorus at the end. There, I felt like it should have kicked in. Yeah. You know? <coughs> yeah. So we've got. Let's number these and go through them. It's about 10, I think. 9. So we've got nine points to do there, so let's just go through these methodically and correct the points that I thought could have been uh, improved. So, yeah, fun times, eh? Fun times. So number one, I want to kind of correct this quantization. It seemed a little sloppy at the start, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because I want kind of a little bit of a human element to it, you know. But it was a little bit off. Well, I like that as an arpeggio. Oh. Good mistake. Not mistake, good. I want an arpeggio there going ding, 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 ding. Oh, that could be nice, that could be nice. Right, let's get an arpeggio on that. Um, yeah, I think that could work. No? Could be wrong. So it sounds like if it's perfectly quantized. I'm not sure if it's a quantization that's messing that up. Let's have a look. So perfect. Oh, it's that one there. So yeah. Okay, that that might make this this thing a bit tighter. Okay. What's the dun 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 dun? Hmm. Kind of 
weird. That's potential, I just can't quite get it right yet. Try a simple delay. Just gonna find it. Yeah. See what this sounds like in the mix. I might make this a little uh, brighter. See what this sounds like in the mix. Could work, could not. Need to correct the rest of the quantizing of the notes. Maybe just at the start it could work. Uh, let me, I might pump it up an octave. I'll probably do it in a do it in serum. A bit lazy. A bit more of a pluck sound. Sounds like this could work. Gives a little bit more stuff going on now. Sound needs a lot of work.
sound in the background. What is that? Is it from the delay? Got a load of reverb on it or something. Might change it, I might manually put the arpeggio. Open up the gate here with the arpeggiator. Now it really doesn't fit. Right, let's change it to 16ths because 12ths is just like, nah. Let's see what this sounds like. Am I playing it just for the sake of it, or does it make it better? up somewhere. Oh, that one, weird. It's playing the second chord than the first one. Okay. Not a mistake there. Let's go to these. First chord on there. Hmm. All right. So one, two, three, four things there. Got a little gap there. Just bring all that forward a little bit. And that'll work. Hopefully. Might not. Go 
platform. It's probably easy about doing this. I just don't know. I, just, I haven't worked out what it is yet. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go from the start. Let's see what this sounds like. So this needs some kind of like filter cut off at the start. Way instead of actually trying to work it out, just copy and paste over whatever's gone wrong. Hmm, something's going on there. It's on the master. Oh, it's on the master. The amp. Okay. Is it? No. Don't know. No. That wasn't us, that was the same. Oh, it's in the group, isn't it? It's the group setting. It's the group setting. No, it's not a group setting. Hmm. I don't know. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sure, why we're losing that. Is it from is it Phil Calf? No. Oh. Experiment and move that there. So it's not the MIDI information, it's something from. Some, something from this. Um, Back there. 
know about this arpeggio. It's getting there, I think. I haven't even gone through my notes yet. So, time to quantize make coupon part too much overdrive. So, let's turn down this overdrive on here. Probably just this drive here. Maybe the fat. Let's have it here. The, the, the sun. Rise at 35. Oh, oh no, I made a big mistake of not starting it at the beginning. Right. There we go. Now I know what 35 is. So 35 is some kind of riser. I have moved a few things around, but it's definitely there. Uh, where's the one I had before? Let's just copy and paste this one. Right. Hey. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so uh, 50 seconds at a crash. So was, I presume it's... I have moved a few things around, but I presume it's here. Okay, cool. Um, weird filter, 145. So I presume that's a little later. Oh yeah, here, this thing. Let's just straighten that out a little bit. A little bit of fluctuation, but not weird. As I said. Add a counter melody at 215. Maybe this arpeggio, because it's arpeggio, arpeggio or whatever, needs a lot of work. 220, get rid of the stabby thing. Uh, that thing, thing, thing. Presume it's this. No. This one. Bring it back here. Cool. Um, yeah, this arpeggio needs a lot of work. Uh, 3.04, wherever it is now. Drums are filtered too early. Okay. Okay, let's try that. I think that'll work. And add another chorus at the end. Oh yeah, that was it. I, want, I felt like it, it could have done another chorus. So let's have this as the outro. And move this, uh, let's move it down. Move this along uh, eight bars. Cool. Let's 
as well. Move this along, eight bars. Right, and then we're sticking this uh, the chorus again. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to hear what it sounded like without the, you know, the bass and the riff. Didn't work. Oh, where are we going? Over here. Uh, here? Yeah. Let's see what it sounds like on the drums. Probably won't work. Arpeggio needs so much. I think it's got potential, but it just needs so much work. So. I think we can make the arpeggio to work. Maybe not in this session, but next one. I think I want to manually type it in because at the moment it's a little bit. It's uh, a bit sloppy. It just doesn't sound right there. Oh, what is going on? Why does that sound so bad? Are even the right notes? No. Got the wrong chord progression in. That's why it sounds awful. Let's get rid of that for now. <laughs> yeah, I really need to make this a bit more. Um, what's the word? Neater. It's this bit that I want. Yeah, what am I playing at? What am I playing at? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and then... Uh, yeah, not that bit. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Cool, and then this bit. <laughs> this bit. Cool. All right, now, now let's hear it. Seems to lose a lot of momentum now. I think it's from this uh, filter. Right, it's, get, it's getting there. The arpeggiator sounds kind of annoying at the moment, but I think it might have its place, but not all the way through the whole track. All the way through the whole track, it's yeah, kind of annoying. Maybe not even have that there. Oh, it's not 
out there. It's the um, gate, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, uh, where's the loop done? Let's just change the serum sound a little bit. I think it's a little bit too, you know, EDM for this song. If that makes sense. You know, down. Something a bit more. We'll work with this one, I think. Maybe turn the reverb down a bit. Up in service. I don't know that little clicky sound. Is it because it's attacking too quick? Yeah. Part, try putting an elephant in the calf. like a sub one. I'm tempted to have it an octave higher. Maybe the filter is just a little bit too at the moment.
Okay, I think that sounds a little bit more suited to the song. It might still be a little bit too, you know, a screechy. It's like with a bit of side chain compression. Yeah, I think I can get some t something to work with this arpeggiator, but for now, needs a lot of work. Still not done. Still not done. Let's export this, so I might come back and listen to it. Yeah, I think it's getting there. Length-wise, I think it's a more comfortable length for this. About information, like there's just stuff going on. There's some interesting chord progressions. That little riff's quite interesting. However, it doesn't really fathom enough to um, deem it be like an eight minute song. It should really be like, yeah, three, four minutes max, I think. Maybe five at a push. However, if I get vocals in, I'm, I'm going to rearrange the whole lot again around the vocals, and it's probably going to sound like a very different song. But for now, I think it's getting there. Yeah. You know. Still, yeah, a lot more to do. 
I don't want to rush, I don't want to take my time. Uh, I don't want to rush, I want to take my time, that's what I meant to say. And just, yeah, kind of create something that I'm more... I wouldn't say happy with, but more I feel more adequate with at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's not there yet. It's getting there, in the right track, but it's not there. Mainly this um, arpeggiator. I feel like it has the potential to be good, but right now the order of the notes and the length of the notes and where it is in the track, it's too frequent. It's Maybe I'll, I'll put it on this APC and kind of create more of a performance out of it or just probably manually type in all the notes. There is that um, Xfer plugin for um, arpeggiating, which is pretty cool. I can't pronounce it. It's something like Chichawanga or something. That one's pretty cool. Um, but I think just typing it in manually can do that one. I might have a play around with that Xfer plugin. It's good. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it. It's kind of day six so far. Well, the end of day six. And uh, I think, yeah, I think it's getting there. Let me just save and just have a look at the length of uh, song one now. Yeah, it's under four minutes. So this is arrange, 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 more arranging, which I think is one of the most important things when songwriting, when composing, when writing music is the arrangement. Yeah, that, it just sticks out, that arpeggio. Am I too attached to it? Maybe it's not needed. Or maybe you could just come in where the drums do. Two minds about this arpeggio. Is it needed? I do feel like I put it there for the sake of it, but at the same time, I feel like I can make it work. We'll find out the next day what I do with the arpeggiator. Arpeggiator. So uh, thank you for watching day six. I hope you found this video useful. If you just skip to the end, yeah, it is qu quite long. Some of these videos, especially if you just um spectating rather than actually uh, producing the music. It's not quite as interesting, but you might be able to learn from this. You might be able to realize that you do need to spend a lot of time arranging, spend a lot of time just listening back and making small, tiny tweaks. You can't just jump in and make a song in half an hour. It doesn't really work like that. Not electronic music, not in Ableton Live 10. Maybe on the acoustic guitar, but the times there are changing. And this is uh, well how I like to write music at the moment. So thank you for watching day six. Hopefully, see you in day seven. And I'll talk to you next time.